The gentleman yields now. Recognize the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Griffith, for five minutes. So I submit to you, gentlemen, that if the President of the United States had gone outside the chain of command and called General Walker directly, bypassing his uh, acting Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of the Army, we might very well be in a hearing trying to find out why the President was interfering with the National Guard. Would you agree with that, Commander Sergeant Major? I think that would have been a highly irregular. Uh, it would have been uh, highly irregular, Colonel. Sir, the, yes, sir. Yeah, keep in mind, this, we're, during that time, they were talking about the President improperly using the military, and they wanted to take precautions against that, th that use. So they, they wanted to have it both ways, to say he didn't call, but then if he would have called, they would have said he was trying to interfere with the chain of command. So. Uh, Air exactly, that's exactly what I was hearing. Uh, and I just wanted to put it, make sure we had it on the record. I, I, I uh, put on the record previously in my previous line of questions that all of you were there for, with uh, Major General William Walker from 1.49 p.m. through 5.55 p.m. During that time period, we've already established that he didn't receive any calls from uh, uh, Secretary McCarthy, but did he try to reach out to Secretary McCarthy during that time frame? Did any gentleman, did you all witness any attempts by him to reach out? Yes. Not that I'm saying this is duty, I'm just asking okay. for facts. You want to go, you want to go? Captain? Uh, yes, sir, I witnessed General Walker attempting to reach out to the Secretary's office multiple times. Multiple times? Yes, sir. Uh, sir in, yes, sir. In, Colonel? In fairness to uh, Secretary McCarthy, and I, I wrote a memo and I said he was incommunicado, and I wasn't taking a shot at him there. I was saying the Pentagon is a big building, cell phones don't work. If you're in a skiff in the, in the Pentagon, you're not going to be reachable by cell phone. And if he's in a, in a skiff with the chairman or with the secretary of the of defense, it's reasonable he would not be able to be reached except through his front office and, and the aide goes back and relays information. So I, I gave Secretary McCarthy the benefit of the doubt there. And, and I appreciate that and appreciate you bringing, look, we're just trying to get the facts. Yeah. Brigadier General, my understanding is, is that you would have been uh, second in command behind Major General Walker, is that correct? That is correct. And if, for some reason, because we, we heard earlier that uh, as a part of the DOD IG report that, um, that there were attempts to reach uh, General Walker, uh, which you all said didn't happen, but let's assume for the sake of argument that they couldn't reach him for some unknown reason. Wouldn't the proper move then have been to call you in this case of an emergency where orders have been given to activate the National Guard? That is correct. And it's interesting because the report says, and, I, and I, I'm not a military man, so y'all bear with me. I may be asking something that y'all all know and I don't. And that is that uh, the Major General Walker indicated that he had called to initiate movement. Now, I understand there wasn't a call, but what does initiate movement mean? Does that mean to get into the, in, to go lend assistance? What exactly does that mean, Brigadier General Dean? Initiate movement means that you um, actually give the order for a force to move. So in this case, it would have been our QRF or any force that was qualified to do civil disturbance. You give them the So order that would have been the order to, to head to the Capitol that would and have been lend the order assistance. To move. Yes. Okay. I mean, that's, that's why I asked. I wanted to, to know. Um, and Captain Nick, I think this is in the record, but let's just get it out there again. What time did the D.C. National Guard learn that they were authorized to deploy to the Capitol? I wrote down in my notes 5.09 p.m., which was relayed from General Mc McConville on a secure video teleconferencing line in our office. 5.09 p.m. Now, they've asked if the President, uh, the questions from the other side indicated the President, if there wasn't any action, should have jumped the chain of command and called uh, General Walker. But if, if you are uh, Pyatt or Flynn and you knew that, that there was supposed to be a deployment or in, in initiate the, the move, wouldn't you have reached out to somebody if you couldn't get a hold of Walker? And I understand they were on the call the whole time, but wouldn't they have been able to, to properly call Brigadier General Dean? I'll let anybody answer. But. Uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, think, I think we miss a key point in all of this conversation when we're talking about who and what. When we go back to the significant fact that the only reason why we are here today is because Secretary McCarthy, in his approval letter, removed Major General's ability <coughs> to execute his immediate response authority. Secretary McCarthy 
changed the memo from Secretary of Defense to the Secretary of the Army. The one that we got from Secretary McCarthy stated that Major General Walker could not deploy the QRF without the Secretary of the Army's explicit order. And, uh, I will just clarify, the term immediate response there is probably used incorrectly in, a, in this instance. Immediate it's, it's, emergency response. Yeah, so, but correct. Yeah. And, just, and, when was, clear, and when was that memo or order given to not do anything without the, the direct call from the Secretary of the Army? Uh, January 5th or 4th, uh, I, think, I think the memo that signed. Several the days fifth. before January 6th. 5th, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I appreciate your questions. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for your courage to be here today. I know that it's got to put you all under a lot of stress. I yield back.